up, guys? It's Fwiz and Puckett. And uh, look, look, Kibbles, look how cute he is with his Optic Nike hoodie. We just watched some dirty work there yeah. by the Alpha Squad. I, I love. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely, man. I think it was like 170 to 101 or something like that. Yeah, it was. Uh, it was a brutal beating, is what happened, actually. It was. It was did you do naughty. the math? Because uh, I definitely did it. Yeah, my math was wrong, so I'm just gonna ignore that Great. stat and let Hub Love, our super statistician, tell us what really happened. Yeah. All we know is Alpha One and TV <laughs> and Karma looked really darn good on that yeah, main yeah, stage. Yeah. I got my pen though. I'm gonna start writing down numbers. We're gonna be good to go moving forward. We have tools, guys. We have, we have, we've got weapons. Yeah. The anyway. Castor weapons. That was game one. That was game we one. We got three games. New crew. Bravo's got a chance to make a comeback they here. They have to. Yeah. Hastro's got to lead this squad. He's got to be yeah. yelling at these boys. Yeah. And the new lineup he's going to be coaching consists of the real Crim Six, Parasite, Nade Shot, That's a great team. and Merc. Ooh, all right. Did I all mention right, right. Parasite and Nade Shot are sitting side by side? Oh, Best friends man. in man. the business. The only one that would have been better be is putting him next to Aches. Oh yeah! I should next next time. Next time I do yep. an all-star game, I yep. know how to do it right. Yep. Uh, but Merck, of course, formerly on Optic Gaming with Nate Shot, now on Envy. Yeah. Parasite, he's been, he of course won COD championships for Black Ops 2 with his squad Impact. Now he is going to be the vocal <laughs> yes. leader of Curse Las Vegas. Nate Shot. I love his shirt with the, the diamond Optic Gaming Minecraft shirt. It's so good. So good. He's amazing, man. Uh, that sure is the best. You know him on yeah. YouTube. You know him on the pro circuit. He's got gun skills with the best of them, and he is about to show it off on the map blitz or map freight as we go to blitz. blitz now yeah. this is the new game mode in Call of Duty Ghost. It's a respawn game mode. Pretty exciting stuff. The whole goal of this: go to your enemy's base and jump in their circle. You do that, you score a point, you teleport back to your base to play a little defense before trying to push up again. Yep, pretty straightforward. Don't let them score. And then uh, you, you teleport back to your base when you score. And uh, let's look at this alpha lineup real quick. We got Nameless from that Curse Las Vegas squad. Big Timer, Clayster, Rambo, and more. And we're kicking off the action at the start here. It says Scump, but I have a feeling that this one is actually Rambo on your screen. No, it's going to be probably... Not Rambo, it's oh, it's Big Timer, I'm assuming. Oh, thank you, sir. Yep. I can't read too good. I like it. All right, so we are on board. I believe this is Big Timer. Somebody didn't change their name, and we're going to kick it off with this squad here. And again, Blitz. I'm 2,000% sure that's Big T. <laughs> All right, great. So, 2,000 should be good enough for me. So we talked about Big Timer a little bit in the pre-show about how good he is at Infinity Ward game modes or sure. games in general. Yeah. Talk to me about this guy and the history he's had in competitive COD. Big timer, you know, he's clearly he's a class act. He's always carried himself incredibly well in the Call of Duty scene since day one. He's won 13 major championships. I mean, the guy knows how to win at a very high level. I think, you know, being the leader of Optic Gaming, he, he brings on a lot for the squad. And again, I think he's just a class act, and he's, he's a really, really great, solid player. And let's see what he can do here at Call of Duty Ghosts. Again, you know, they, they, they were able to snag one championship in Black Ops 2. He's going to try to start here on Ghosts. But again, with the all-star matchup, let's see how he's able to kick things off. And again, already two caps on the board here with three minutes and 14 seconds left. And he's in this two-story over here at Green, and he is just going to get taken down. Actually, three-story there. Uh, I want to see what Rambo Ray is doing, though. He's kind of the objective man. He'll do the support role when needed. He'll do all the dirty work for the squad. And Rambo seems that in Call of Duty Ghosts, he's going to stick with the SMG, going with the MTAR, which has pretty amazing range for oh, an SMG. And he opened that door and just got beat on real quick, so that door's going to get mm. shut back again. But yeah, Rambo, I, I can't say enough positive things about this player as well. Clearly a very intelligent player. I think when you when people talk about Rambo, that's, that's usually the compliment he first receives. And again, he handles himself well, very well communicating with his team. And he oh. also is good at capping blitzes. Nice cap. So that is kind of put the score at one for Alpha, two for Bravo. If they were able to sneak in earlier, it was Parasite getting both of those caps. And what, speaking of Parasite, let's jump on board with them. Here's your mini map, though, by the way, in the upper left-hand corner. Rambo's about to have some fun, then we'll do some switching. Rambo not going to spot anything. We're going to jump on board with Parasite now, who just had some help from his teammate. Shots coming from the back. He knows he needs support, and he is going to wait this one patiently. 2-4-2 two, and two in this game. He's sticking with the MTAR as well. What do you think Parasite's role is going to be in this new title? Yeah, I mean, well, 
that's I think he's going to change around, but particularly he's he's obviously focused on getting you know to the blitz zone. You, you got to play a little bit sneaky when doing that. He just got pulled out right there. As we switch over to Merc real quick, he gets taken out too. So you know I, it's it's difficult to to kind of identify your role when you're playing an all-star game. You kind of just have to go out there, do you? These guys haven't like scrimmed together as a squad or anything like that. So uh, it's interesting watching how they play in an environment where you just kind of throw them out there and let them do their thing. All right, I'm just going to switch this up quite a bit here for you, trying to catch the best action. As you can see on the minimap, uh, we're going to see a push here from our orange squad. That is going to be Bra or Alpha at the minute as Rambo and friends are trying to push in. It looks like it is going to be Rambo taken down inside the base, but there is another player. Who is it? It's Big T in the back trying to make his way over to Bravo. He's going to get cut down, and that's going to allow Merc and friends to push up. Merc in the middle of the map with his Remicade doing damage. Gets one, gets two, two now. This is when you want to push for the Blitz. Yeah, Merc making moves. They, they're like, they're about to make something happen right here. Nade shot down there is about to grab in and get that Blitz. I don't know if he was able to, he did. His so, teammate got it. Yeah, he, yeah, somebody from that squad was able to pick it up. So nice cap. So three to one with 40 seconds left on the clock. And uh, we're going to stay on board with this Bravo team. Actually, everyone falling just there. Merc on top of the leaderboard. We're going to stay on board with them one more time. 13 and 7 at the moment. No caps, though, in this first half. And you're going to see the score. It's in favor of the Alpha Boys, I believe. 3 to 1. Excuse Ooh. me, Bravo Boys. 3 1. 20 seconds left on the clock. Oh, Rambo gets no! in with the last second slide oh, Mer <laughs> to make it 2 to 3. Oh. Great objective play in the final 20 seconds by Rambo. That was so, Merc's face was so funny. I love that it was Rambo too going against his teammate sliding in. And I love the addition of the knee slide too. And it makes Blitz really fun. So great cap there. Ray, Ray's got a little bit of a smirk after that. Yeah, I knew it was coming. Here is your round ending kill cam. This one belongs to the Merkster. Jump shots with Ooh, that Remington. I think he is going to be pretty darn naughty with this new weaponry. Oh, yeah. The Remington's an amazing gun, obviously. I mean, I, I, love, I love rolling out with the Remy, man. So good. So, so solid. So good. So, so clean. So, is so that fresh. Is that Load no, out of I'm choice, a, I'm or a what scumbag. Are you I use the MSBS. All right, nice yeah, guy. Yeah, so obviously if you run into Fwiz that's, online. That's banned, but in the pubs, I'm rocking out the MSBS all day, every day. You single burst one, hero. Yeah, one bombs every, all, every All right, day. well, we're yeah. getting back into the action here. I'm excited. Let's jump on board with Big T at the start as we are into round number two. Now, remember, Alpha, they got that last second cap. They're still down one. Bravo with the lead. And Merc, of course, he is the one doing the damage. 16 and 9. So far in this game, four minutes and 30 seconds left to rack up even more kills. And as we are just kicking this off here, so four, four to two. I mean, this is within reach, man. This isn't like the domination game we saw game one was, was kind of a blowout, all things considered. So I, I'm liking that this game is closer. We got someone sneaking in the back over towards the Blitz. It looks like that is going to be an Alpha member. Merc watching the middle, though. Quick kill there. Yeah, somebody's at, yeah, they, they're, they're making moves back there. You got to watch out. Oh, I guessed correctly. It's going to be my friend Clayster. Clay coming down low, and he is going to get yep. in. It is 4-3 as both teams are able to cap. So you're going to see a little bit of defense being played by Big Timer. Clayster's going to hang back, waiting for this next push. We're staying on board as he finds that sneaky player. His teammate goes down in front of him. Does he go underground and go for another cap, or does he play defense? It looks like the decision is to push with the team across the middle. Rambo clearing the cap. way, and another cap just went in as the base was not completely secured. Down goes Clayster. Rambo still alive, and he is about to sneak in the back. Shots Ooh. coming in, and great defensive stand. Who was it? It wasn't Merck. It looked like that one belonged to Nade Shot. Yeah, he almost was actually able to sneak around that corner and get it, but was taken out as we are on board here with Merck. In the eyes of Merck, he's going to play a little bit more of a defense. A lot of people coming up there from the spot. He sees somebody and just as he moves, shots being fired, able to pick up a kill there. And Merck, again, just hanging out, wanting to protect their blitz point. They've got a nice, healthy lead at 5-3, to three, but again, don't want to lose that. And down somebody goes sneaky. Merck, Parasite. He is going to be eyeing that goal. Can he get in for this Bravo team? There's a big kill up top. Jumping in. Parasite oh. scores again. That is his fourth capture. He is the reason this squad is leading 6-3 to three at the moment. 2.40 left on the clock. The boys from Alpha have their work cut out for them. Yeah, so Parasite's got, he's 9-12, and 12, but he's got four caps. And Nate Shot's 12-14, and 14, but Nate Shot's got two. So uh, between Nate Shot and Parasite, they're really contributing. And now you're letting Merck and, and Krim just run around and slay. And props to oh. Merck. Merck is 20-12 and 12 right now. 
Parasite spots an opponent, runs right by him and gets to the blitz. Four to seven. Bravo still holding on to the lead, but they're giving up some caps. All four caps coming between two from Clayster and two from Rambo. Yeah, both those guys holding on for their team, but if you keep letting Parasite, he's juking and jiving, jumping on those, those points left and right here, so he's, uh, he's hungry. Nice play by Krim Six, feeling the pressure at his base. Guess what? Gets two! Oh, and Krim, the base D, oh. he is going to get run over, and I, I'm sorry, dude. It happens That's to the That's the only way you can kill Krim Bot, man. Yeah, you got to roll yeah, him You got to roll him over, yeah. Yeah, so we got Bird back on your screen. He seems basically to be the lead blocker for Parasite and Nature who are sneaking in. Parasite sneaking on the left side. You can see that other blue arrow. That is Nate shot, or was, as he was trying to push up from the middle. There's and Parasite sneaks in for his sixth cap. There is no defense on this Alpha team at the moment. They really need to keep a guy in their base, but they also are running out of time to cap four times. He hasn't died either. He was when we were talking earlier, and it, it was six to four. He was ten and twelve. Like he has gotten two more caps and is yet to die. So he's doing a great job. He just is so sneaky. And again, he could be. He's incredibly mindful of staying away from opponents. First altercation that he went into right there, and now he's going to hang out. Picks up another kill, finally taken out his Parasite as we jump on board with Merc. Merc gonna, getting in some shots. Is he going to cap or is he just going to slay? Uh, it looks like he's spawn camping and doing a darn good job of it. Two more players in the lumber to look out for. Put shots at one, gets challenged, and that is going to be a big kill as Merc goes down. We're jumping on board with the objective player, Rambo. They're down to their last 45 seconds and need to put the pressure on now. Here with Rambo Ray, gonna pick up a nice kill, trying to get some shots in there, pre-firing to see if anybody pops out. As we snap in the camera of him, he's all over the place getting shots, and now he's gonna finally retreat, get his health back here a little bit. All right, well, the game is officially mathematically over. There's no way that they can That's score correct. four times with just 20 seconds, knowing that there's that 10 second cooldown. It's all about the stats at this point, and let's watch the man with the best stats in the game at the moment. Merc going for the 30 bomb at 27 and 15. Needs three kills in the last 10 seconds. Can't find anyone. His teammates doing the damage. And we are going to see the final score as Bravo answers back. They will take game number two, eight to four. Fantastic <laughs> objective work from Parasite and Nate Shot, and the slaying duo of Merc oh. and Grim Six was just brutal in that one. Those two sit next to each other is cracking me up. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Take a picture, folks. It's not going to last yeah, long. You won't, you won't that see is going to do it for game number two. We're going to take a quick commercial break. When we come back, the series is all tied up. I love it. Alpha one, Bravo one. Who will take search and destroy? We'll find out after this.